Hello, my name is Derek James and welcome to this video that is all about Spindleberry Halloween. So if you're somebody that is living in Oxford, or more correctly Blackbird Leaves, then this could be one of the best Halloweens you're going to have. There's going to be something for everybody, irrespective of age, so it doesn't matter whether you are a child, a teenager, or an adult. And let me run that down for you so that you understand exactly what's going on. With a VR headset, if you're old enough, you could experience what it's like to have your arm cut off or your head cut off and it feels real. If you're someone that's a teenager, you could be involved with making your own mini Twilight Saga movie where you, as the vampire, goes and turns other people into vampires. And again, if you're somebody that has got children, younger children, say around about 10 years old and they want to fight a skeleton as seen in Spy Kids 2, then that's all possible. Okay, now in a nutshell, we know there are going to be different age groups listening to this. There are going to be the younger people, there are going to be the adults. But what we're doing on um, Monday, the 31st of October 2016, at Spindleberry Park is going to fit everybody, whether you're young or old. Okay, now in a nutshell, what I'm going to be doing is putting together a number of filming sessions that enable young people to be involved with fight scenes. If so if you think about Jason the Argonauts, or if you think about Scott's, um, Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams, then in both of those films you see people fighting skeletons. Now, the, fi uh, the filming of the skeleton fights for younger people are not going to be in any way um, scary. And again, if you look at Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams, and you type in fight scene, then you'll be able to find that on um, YouTube and if you type in Jason the Argonauts skeleton fight scene again you'll see that online and you'll see that neither of those fight scenes within the context of working with children are any way going to be scary and everybody that comes if you're of a certain age in other words you're young then you have to come with a responsible adult I'm not filming anybody that doesn't come with their parent the other rule is you have to bring a torch because filming or walking through Spindleberry Park at night, it's pitch black. You can't see uh, for six foot in front of your face. Now, where we're going to be filming, it will be lit. But as you're trying to make your way through Spindleberry Park at night, you can't see in front of your face. You're going to have to bring a torchlight. Now, if you're an adult, the reason why you might want to take an interest in this is because you may be able to be involved with projects where you get paid for being involved with fight scene research and what is taking place with virtual reality technology. If you type in rubber hand illusion on YouTube, then you can see where Morgan Freeman and Paul Giamatti, so big league Hollywood actors, have been involved with virtual reality experiments where people think that the arm, the fake arm, that they're working with is real and it's theirs. Now what that means for the way in which movies are going to be put together, or should I say virtual reality movies are going to be put together, is that you can trick the mind into believing that certain aspects of what it's seen are actually, uh, are actually happening to you for real in real time. So if you were faked out with regards to somebody saying they're going to take your arm off with a knife, you could actually believe that that's happening to you because of the way in which the VR headset feeds information into your, into your site. So, we're going to have two things taking place on the night of Halloween the 31st of October 2016. There's going to be the filming of young kids being involved with fight scenes where they think they are um, fighting a skeleton. But as they get older, they might want to become part of the research projects that are taking place where they're assessing films, assessing um, uh, games, and getting paid for it. And with that, what you now have is a way in which Halloween can actually start paying for itself for people that are participating in Blackbird Lease. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave you to the rest of this presentation. There are a few other videos that you can look at. And hopefully everything that you see that you see gives you an understanding that you're going to be able to get involved with something that is going to be a bit of a laugh, uh, give you something to talk about and give you something to put on YouTube. And with that, what you can see is that year after year, as this project gets a bit bigger, you might be able to give the children that you're working with, i.e. your kids, a means by which they can earn either a bit of extra pocket money or earn their way through college because of the research project that is taking place, which is a media research project for people 
who are now looking to develop the scariest experiences that movies and video games along with VR experiences can give to people. So with that I'll leave you with the rest of the presentation and hopefully I'll see you on Halloween night the 31st of October 2016. Okay so on this video you're going to see some images they're not going to be in any kind of um, order but it's going to give you an idea about the production value of what it is you're getting involved with so you're not getting something that's going to be filmed on a small camera you're not getting something that's going to be put together that's going to be rough shot now the idea is really simple if there are children and they want to be filmed fighting skeletons kind of like Jason and the Argonauts or Spy Kids 2 then we can put together some video shorts that gives every child the ability to be involved with something where they're having some fun fighting a skeleton Really simple, easy to do, not a problem. We'll come back to that in a moment. Now, the reason why I start off with children is because children are going to be accompanied by an adult. And if you're coming over to Spindleberry Park, rule one is really simple. Make sure you bring a torch because Spindleberry Park at night, because it starts getting, it's dark by seven o'clock. Spindleberry Park at night, you can't see 12 foot in front of you, 6 foot in front of you because it is so dark. It's brilliant for filming and where we're going to be putting the lights on the people that we're filming. It's brilliant for that but if you're going to be in Spindleberry Park doing anything else, in other words trying to get to us and so on, if you don't have a torch you're going to find it very difficult to, to navigate from where you um, are going to come into the park to where we're filming because again it's dark it's that simple and if you're someone who lives near Spind Spindleberry Park then you understand how dark it can be all right then so let's just say that you're somebody who is 12 13 14 and above you're an adult and you want to be involved with filming something that you can put on your YouTube um, page put on Facebook then this is where things start getting a bit more scary and I mean that literally there are two types of filming processes that we're going to be involved with and both parts of the process actually involves you. Now, if you have seen the Blair Witch Project, then you understand that the Blair Witch Project is a movie that was made with the idea that there were some people that filmed some footage and they got taken by something. What that something is, we don't really know. But you can actually film footage using your mobile phone where you're looking to create the same type of effect. In other words, you're walking through a forest or you're doing your trick-or-treat night and then you walk through Spindleberry Park and then for whatever reason you get taken. Something happens to you. All right. Now, for those of you that don't consider yourself to be children, in other words, you're slightly a bit older and you want to do something that's got a bit more, let's just say, neat to it. I think that if we look at the Twilight Saga, then we understand that there's something there that in terms of vampire movies is aimed at a specific type of age, and that'll fit you okay. Now with that in mind, you're going to see something on screen now, you're going to see a mask that could be something that's cast in some kind of evil spell in a, in a forest, and you see a hanging head. Now the concept that you can work with is this, so imagine that there's going to be five or six of you. You've just finished your trick or treat, you're walking through Spindleberry Park, you've got a torch because you understand it's dark, and then you shine your torch on the mask, you all freak out, you're scared, you then shine your torch on the hanging head, again you're scared, but then the camera now points at one of you who has turned into a vampire and that vampire then goes and kills the rest of the team two or three of you could be vampires who then gang up on the one the idea that's been worked with is this you can go to Wilkinson's or you can go to the pound shop you can buy yourself a set of vampire teeth that are part of your before and after in other words when you when you start walking through Spindleberry Park as a group you're not a vampire when you then see the head or the mask and the, the image is now pointing back at you, you've now put your vampire teeth in and somebody then goes and basically kills everybody else because you're the vampire. Now using the Blair Witch um, format, you can make your own mini movie that can be as long as you want it to be because you can film all of the before and after stuff. But what you need to keep in mind is this. The elements that I film are going to be on a high quality camera that if you are someone that's looking to earn some money for college or some part-time money then what you can be involved with is the project where 
using the video footage you can use that as part of your social media that shows you being involved in something that's a well it looks like it's a pro level movie so you're not fighting skeletons but at the same time you're not doing something that is so scary that it's an above 18 production it's for the ages of people that are in what you might call the twilight zone okay or the age that the movie twilight and the entire twilight saga was made for so we can now recap with regards to what we can film on monday the 31st of october 2016 halloween night We've got something for the younger people, i.e. fighting skeletons. If you use the information that's on the screen, you know what to type in on YouTube to find Jason the Argonauts or, again, again um, Spy Kids 2, Island of Lost Dreams, where the kids are fighting skeletons. That's what we're going for. Nothing overly scary. If you've got kids and you're bringing kids or younger brothers and sisters to the um, night, what they might want to do is do some practice beforehand. And the practice is really simple. Left, right and duck. Because when the skeleton goes to stab your child, if they move to the left, then they've moved out of the way. And we'll shout that as a direction. Then when it's time for them to fight the skeleton, they'll do that. And then when it's time for them to move right, they'll do that. They'll dodge the sword and they've moved out of the way. When the skeleton then tries to um, take their head off with his sword, they duck to move out of the way. And because the swords are all plastic, nobody can get hurt. When the edit is put together, you won't know whether or not those swords are plastic or not because there will be enough sound effects where the swords will sound metal. Then for those that are a bit older who do not consider themselves children, we can do something that's kind of, let's just say Twilight, where one of you becomes a vampire or a couple of you become vampires and then gang up on all of your mates who aren't vampires and they get killed or turned into vampires in the process. You have seen the images on the screen now with regards to the mask or the hanging head. You can meet that by shining your torchlight on it and then all pandemonium breaks loose. You work out what you want filmed and we'll do that. And then finally we have got the VR experience which that is definitely for the 18s and above. But the concept is this, if you type in the information that you see on the screen now, you can look at how other people have been involved with VR experiences where you can take a knife to somebody and they physically believe that what they are seeing is really happening even if they do the experiment again and again and again because what's being fed into your eyes you think it's real because of the VR headset and for some of you that are looking to maybe find work maybe it might be full-time or part-time work the stuff that we're filming could be used as part of the way in which you present yourself to people that are looking to hire people who are testing VR experiences and creating them. With regards to the visual effects, we're working with some very easy to understand concepts here. But there's something that you need to keep in mind and be very clear about this. If you want to make your movie really good, come dressed ready to play the part. In other words, if you're going to fall over, then make sure that you wear clothes that you don't mind getting dirty. Okay, because that, that kind of like makes sense. There is something that you also need to think about. If you're coming and you're coming as a group of people, why not work out beforehand what it is you're going to have filmed? Now, it's going to be a short, obviously, but the point that's really been made here is this. Your mini movie will look a lot better if you've planned before than trying to make it up right there and then. And remember, there are going to be people that are going to be filming before you and after you. So you can't be trying to make it up all there on the spot, hoping that there's time. We're going to be trying to run a, a kind of conveyor belt system. So come with the idea that you've got in mind, with an understanding that you're going to, maybe if you're the olders, uh, kids, then you might be, I said, seeing the mask. You're going to see that the, um, the, the head and you're scared, you're running away, and then one of you becomes a vampire, you know, choose who's going to be the vampire, choose who are going to be the people that are going to die. If you don't mind getting extra dirty, bring some tomato ketchup, you can wipe that over your face with an understanding that you're going to be going home, or you're going to bring some, some Kleenex, and the more gory you make what you're doing, in other words, the more effort you put into what you're doing, the better your end product is going to be. 
because you know exactly what it is that you want to portray. And again, because everybody's got a smartphone, you can go on and film extra bits in Spindleberry Park because you're going to have your torchlights, you're going to have your smartphones and when you upload all of these videos on YouTube and you add them all together with YouTube Editor you've created your own mini movie. Not bad for an evening at Spindleberry Park where you've got some props, some lights, some professional filming and your footage put together and that then sets you up for putting stuff on YouTube that's going to look kind of quite good and again remember some of you will be using this as a means by which you can earn money because you're looking to get involved with maybe testing other people's films or their VR headset ideas and you can earn money from that and heads up if you don't have a VR headset getting the VR headset filming done it's not going to work but give me a call if you're interested in getting something done for a VR headset. So with that, this brings this session to a close. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. My details are on the screen. So see you all on Monday, the 31st of October, 2016, Halloween night, Spindleberry Park.